guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hi, I'm Brittany. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my monthly favorites for the month of April. I have some skincare, makeup, and also even some random favorites to show you guys. So I'm super excited about it. If you guys want to see what I've been loving for the month, let's go ahead and get into it. What I've really been loving is my Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. I love this foundation so much. It's what I'm wearing right now. Um, I don't get oily throughout the day and I feel like I don't have to blot as much when I wear this. I don't have to blot at all. I do have a wear test on this foundation if you want to see it on my channel. I'll also have it in the cards. Um, if you want to see this like in action and see the coverage and everything, I'll have it right there. Um, but so far, I've really, really been loving it this month. Next up for concealer, I have a little combo that I've been doing. So recently, what I've been doing is using this It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye first. And I'll use that under my eyes and then I'll go in with foundation and then I'll apply this one on top. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and I love this to highlight and also just as a concealer in general. And so these two together just pair amazingly. This has super duper full coverage and has like a really nice glowy finish. And this one has a luminous finish as well, but it's not as glowy as this one. And sorry if you guys heard that beep. I got a notification on my Alexa. Um, but together, they're just like a dream team. And so that's what I have on my eyes right now. You guys know if you watch any of my tutorials that have really dark green veins. They're kind of like the veins I have right here, but under my eyes. So I really need some really good full coverage. And so I've just been loving pairing these together. Now, as for a no makeup day, I wanted to mention this one. This is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Concealer. If you want a cheaper alternative, the Makeup Revolution, I feel like is an exact dupe for this one. So this concealer is definitely not as light as my other concealers, and I got this scent from Influencer, so it's not like I had the choice of which shade I was going to get. Um, but lately, I've really been loving it for my no makeup days. So if I'm like going grocery shopping or if I just don't want to wear that much makeup for that day, I've really been liking this. Let me know if you guys would like a no makeup makeup routine because I could totally do that for you. Um, but I'll use this under my eyes and also just to hide any blemishes and it blends right into my skin. It's basically my skin tone, but it has that really nice luminous finish to where you can't tell that you're wearing good concealer because you know, like with um, matte concealers, matte full coverage concealer, you could kind of tell that you're wearing makeup. With this one, it just looks so natural on the skin so I've really been loving it for that um, like I said the makeup revolution one is a dupe but this one's in a lighter shade so I just really been loving this one for like my no makeup days so for powder this month I cannot keep my hands off this powder this is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade 10 fair light and this is just a um, loose powder and it does have some color in it but mine's more of a yellowy color and it appears more translucent on the skin rather than adding coverage and color if you know what I'm saying so I've really been liking this just because I could use this powder under my eyes and also to set my face and usually with other powders I could either only use it on my face or only use it under my eyes and this one is good for both. So of course I'm gonna to gravitate towards this one just because I could use it for everything. And so it's just easier to do and deal with. And plus it leaves an amazing finish on the skin. I feel like it's more comparable to my Laura Mercier, the way like it blends out your pores and the way it um, sets the face. But under the eyes, it is less drying than the Laura Mercier. So it is also really good for under the eyes. I can't use the Laura Mercier under my eyes just because it does look a little too dry. But this one I can. So it's just basically an all-in-one baking powder for me. And I love it so much. I just apply it under my eyes with my Beauty Blender. And then I'll grab some more on my Beauty Blender as well and bake the rest of my face. And so really been loving that this month. Oh my gosh, guys, I meant to start off with skincare, but I just jumped into makeup. And it's because I only have like one skincare product to mention this month. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. I've really been loving this this month. It has totally replaced my Bare Minerals Under Eye Cream. I haven't even finished that one, but I was like getting to the end of it. So I started to try this one and I completely switched over and I didn't even finish that one. I really feel like I need to though, just because it's a good eye cream as well. I just love this one a lot more. It's just a pink kind of salmon-y cream under eye cream. And I've been using it only at night. I use a different one in the morning. I use my Murad one in the morning, but for night, I've really been liking this. It doesn't give me the little bumps under my eyes for like too much hydration. You know how you could get like the bumps from certain under eye creams. It doesn't do that and it also hydrates and I feel like it stays there throughout the night. 
And then when I wake up in the morning, my under eyes are just so smooth and plump. And so, so far I've really been liking this. Now for lip balm, I've really been liking this one. This is Beauty by Pop Sugar's Lip Save. And so it's just basically a lip balm that you could apply before makeup or at the end of the night, whatever you want to do with it. Um, but I really, really like it because it gives me the same hydration as my Bite Agave lip mask but it's way thinner in consistency, so it's not too heavy to wear during the day. And so lately, I've been putting this on before my makeup and sometimes after, and even under some lipsticks. Um, I have it under this matte lipstick right here, and as you can see, it's kind of giving it a little bit more shine. So if your lips are a little bit dry that day, but you wanna wear one of your matte liquid lipsticks, you could just pop this underneath and it should be fine. It should still last you a while. And so I've just really been liking this as kind of like a primer for my lips. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and talk about my eyeshadow favorites. So the first one being my Makeup Revolution Soap X palette. So I do have some makeup looks using this palette already, so I'm not gonna swatch anything, but I've really just been loving this, especially at the beginning of the month. I could not keep my hands off of it. If you are looking for a really, really good drugstore palette that's basically like high quality, this is a really good one to check out, and I believe it's only $15. It's a little bit up there for drugstore, but um, for like, it's still cheaper than a high end, if you know what I'm saying. So I think it's totally worth it and you do get a lot of colors. You have some good neutrals in there and also some really good pops of color. So I've really been liking that one. Okay, and for my next eyeshadow palette, it's super duper recent that I picked this up, but this is the Huda Beauty Electric Obsessions palette. It's what I have on my eyes today along with some ColourPop eyeshadows, but I've just been using this ever since the day I got it, so I thought I had to mention it. As you can see, I basically used all of the colors in this palette already. I think I have. Yeah, I used every single color in this palette. So the only thing I don't like about this palette is I feel like these two pinks are exactly the same. And also this red, it looks like a deep red, but it pulls off more pink on the eyes. So basically you have three pinks in there and I wish they would just replace those shades with um, some other different colors. But other than that, like I said, I've been using it every single day. I love the colors. I love the pigmentation and they are just really good high quality eyeshadows. And I love how compact it is. It's just super easy to like travel with or just to grab and you just want to use it because it's smaller. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, this was the only Huda Beauty like mini palette that spoke to me. So I picked it up and I've been loving it ever since. Okay, so for my next eyeshadow favorite, it's kind of a like what I pair with these kind of palettes. So this has like really nice pops of colors, but it doesn't have any transition shades or like brow bone colors or anything to deepen anything up. And this just helps that out. So basically it's an all matte palette with just transition shades in there and also some colors to deepen up a look. And so I've just been grabbing this palette every time I grab the Huda Beauty um, Obsessions palette or anytime I grab like a ColourPop eyeshadow or a Stila glitter, anything that I want to be the star of the show, I'll just pair it with this Too Faced Peachy Matte palette just because it has the most amazing transitions and um, colors to deepen everything up. So it's just a really good palette to pair with any of the eyeshadows that are more crazy, if you know what I'm saying. It's just a basic one to grab. And I also like that it has a skin tone eyeshadow in here it actually has two so I like to use those ones to go ahead and set my eyeshadow primer so I've just been gravitating towards it a lot lately okay so moving on to bronzer oh my gosh this has became a holy grail bronzer so this is the Becca sunlit bronzer in the color Capri Coast and let me just show you guys how much I love this as you can see I hit pan completely on this palette or I hit pan on this compact and I've been using this every single day so I completely stopped contouring and I just use this on its own and I use it as my contour and also as my bronzer so it's kind of all in one for me it also looks super natural on the skin because it has that sheen in it and so it's not completely matte and flat so it brings more life to the skin and looks a little bit more natural on it if that makes any sense and it's a perfect color it's not too warm to where I couldn't contour with it and it's not too um, cool tone to where I couldn't bronze up the skin with it as well I have it on right now hopefully you guys could tell and so I've just been grabbing it lately and using it a lot so I thought I would mention it 
Okay guys, so for blush, I have one blush to talk about. This is my new blush that I got from Lancome when we got gratis and I did my gratis haul. I'll have that right here if you haven't seen it. Um, but this is in the color Mocha Havana and it does say that it's a shimmer so it does have some glow in there. But this just has been my favorite blush to use lately. I love it so much. I really need to get a Z palette to pop it in there because I don't really have a place for it. So it's just in this plastic like container but this is what the color looks like i love it so much it's like a plummy nude color it would be a nude color more in darker skin tones but for me it pulls more like mauvey but i still love it i just use a very very light hand i do have it on today so hopefully you guys could see but yeah i've been using this as my everyday blush and you wouldn't think it would be an everyday blush just because it is deeper but i've been loving it for every single day so i had to mention it Okay, so for highlights, I have some oldies, but goodies. These are the Ofra highlights, and I have mine in the color Blissful and also in the color Rodeo Drive. And if I had to pick one, it would definitely be Blissful. This is just my all-time favorite highlight. I have it on today. I just love it so much. I do have a video swatching both of these colors and like going in in depth review over both of them but i just had to mention them because they are the only highlighters that are super blinding like none of my other highlighters come close and i feel like i always gravitate towards these just because i know i'm gonna get a blinding highlight no, even if i'm wearing like a super matte foundation this if i put it on top i will look super glowy so i love it so much i wear it in a lot of my videos just because on camera you can't really see highlight that well but you could definitely see these ones just because that's how blinding they are and so if you haven't checked these out they're definitely worth the hype and i love them so much and now you can even get them at ulta which i think is awesome you can get your points on it and yeah it's just better to have it at ulta because you can get your points and yeah i don't know where i was going with that but yeah i love these Okay, so now I'm going to talk about my favorite lip products. So the first one being the Beauty by Pop Sugar Tinted Lip Balm. This is in the color, hmm, Choose Happy. And it's like a, a dark, orangey, mauve nude. <laughs> That's a really bad way of explaining it. But I just love this for a hint of color to throw on really fast. You don't really have to think about it. You don't have to apply a lip liner. It also has your SPF in there, which I think is awesome to protect your lips because usually the products don't have SPF, but it's just a really pretty natural color. And I also use this for my no makeup makeup days. And so let me know if you do want that video. I will definitely show you all these products I'm talking about when I say no makeup days because um, you never really see that look on here just because I'm always doing full glam when I get on camera. But I could definitely film that for you guys if you would be more interested in it. Just let me know. But yeah, I've been loving that for my no makeup days. Okay, so next up for lips, we have a ColourPop liquid lipstick. And this is the Ultra Satin Lip. And we have it in the color Echo Park or Eco Park. Um, but that is what I'm wearing currently on my lips right now. As you can see, it's just a really pretty warm pink nude color. It's not too warm to where it looks orangey, but it's just like a very neutral pink lip. And I love it so much. You could wear it with a really dramatic eye like I am today, or you could wear it with like a nude natural kind of look. And it goes well with that as well. And so I've really been liking this. And last but not least, we have a bullet lipstick. This is the Urban Decay lipstick in the color Bun Bun. This is a comfort matte and it's from the um, limited edition Leanne, or what's her name? What's her name? Oh, her name's Christine Leanne. Sorry, I totally blanked on her name. Um, but this is her like limited edition set that she collaborated with Urban Decay and they had these on sale for $7.50 on Sephora's website so I went ahead and snagged one up and they still have it till this day so if you like this color I would definitely snag it up because it's super affordable and it's just such a beautiful color. I was actually going to buy this for a full price um, but it went on sale. And so this is just more of a mauve nude. I love it so much just because I can't really pull off the mauve lips. They all pull a little bit too purpley dark on me, but this one just looks so beautiful. So I've really been loving this for this month if I wanna wear something more mauve -y. Okay guys, so that was all my beauty kind of favorites. Now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the random favorites. So I have two candles I wanted to mention to you guys. This is what they look like. They're both from the same brand and it's called Central Nation, or no, okay, so the brand is Sensational. 
And I have the scent Sunshine Tulips and also the scent Watermelon Lemonade. This one is a little bit less strong than the watermelon one, but it smells so good. It just smells like fresh, like flowers from outside, like mixed with grass and like nature. I'm horrible at explaining scents, but it's really, really cute as well. It's just a small little candle with a rose gold cap. And I got these both from Marshalls and they were only $2.99 and they work so good. They really like fill the room with the scent. So if you're looking for some good candles, I would definitely check out Marshalls and get the ones with the rose gold cap because these ones are really, really nice. And the other one I got is Watermelon Lemonade. This one is super strong compared to that one, but it's so good. It just smells like... It smells like definitely watermelon, but like artificial watermelon, which I love, mixed with a little bit of lemon. Oh, it smells so good. So I've really been liking those. Okay, and so in my last month's favorite, I mentioned how I was really loving any kind of green tea, and I was putting um, some creamer in it, and I've really been liking that. Um, but recently, I've been adding this to it, and this is actual matcha green tea powder. This is what it looks like. I got mine from H Mart. If you don't know what H Mart is, it's just a um, like kind of Asian grocery store that we have here in like the Dallas area. I don't, I'm not sure if you'll have one around you, um, but I've really been loving this one. And this one is just the culinary quality green tea. And so basically it's a powder. It's a really dark green powder and then you mix it with water and it makes green tea. But um, matcha actually has caffeine and regular green tea doesn't. Um, so I've really been liking this and mixing it with my other green tea and it just makes it like 10 times stronger and it makes it taste like the matcha latte from Starbucks. So if you're wanting to create that at home, I definitely recommend this green tea. I'll have it linked down below if you want to check it out. But yeah, that is all my favorites for this month, guys. Oh wait, I forgot one. Ah! Okay, so my next favorite is super random, but this is a deodorant and it's actually a men's deodorant. And you're probably like, why are you showing me a men's deodorant? So this is the Old Spice Fiji is the scent. And so it's a solid um, deodorant, but it like comes off clear, like it doesn't have color. And I've really been liking it because you guys know I wear black every single day because of my job. And so this comes in handy with it being clear. And also I was telling you guys in like a past video of how like I wear all these like fruity um, deodorants and like they never completely like get rid of my odor. They kind of just mix with my odor and it creates this like weird or like plasticky smell and I'm not a fan. And so one day I was just like, hey, let me try Christian's deodorant. And so I tried this and I noticed throughout the day that I didn't smell like at all like my um like it controlled my sweat so i didn't sweat so the other one i would sweat with it but it would kind of mix with the scent this one completely like gets rid of your sweat you basically don't sweat like all day it, it's really good at controlling it um it does smell like man though but this one is not as manly smelling as some other like brands this old spice is actually pretty like neutral um it's not too musky um but it, this one smells so good I wouldn't even care if I smell like this, like, it just smells like palm trees, it even says with palm tree, it just like, it literally just smells like Hawaii or something. It just smells so good, but like that scent doesn't linger off of you, so if you're a girl and you want to try it out, it's not like you're going to smell like man or anything. It just kind of really controls my um, BO um, without making me smell like a man, like I'm pretty sure if like you dug your face into my armpit, you would probably smell it. Um, but other than that, like it doesn't linger off of you, so you can still wear your perfume and you'll be okay and you won't smell like a man, but I've been loving this and I have a full size of my like girl deodorant and I completely stopped using it and went to this because I'm loving it so much. And so yeah, that is everything I have to talk to you guys about today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys were loving this month. I would love to know and see if I could try out any new products that you were loving. And yeah, if you have any questions about any of the products I mentioned, leave it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to answer it for you guys. Also, I wanted to ask you guys, do you like my makeup? Would you like a tutorial on this or is it too crazy? I don't know. I was feeling very like colorful and inspired today. I was feeling colorful. I don't think you could feel colorful, Brittany. I was feeling very inspired today and I wanted to create something colorful. So I created this look. Let me know if you guys would like a video on it. Um, like I said, I did use the Huda, the little Huda Beauty palette. And so, yeah, and I used ColourPop colors too. Like I kind of just like mixed it around. 
And so yeah, if you're new to my channel, my name is Brittany Raquel. Make sure you subscribe before you leave. I make videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.